Hey everyone, welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I am Karma. Let's go ahead and roll the dice and see who this reading is for. Uh, I just did Sag. I've already done Taurus. Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, you guys are up. So this is going to be for Aquarius. It is September 2022, but however, I trust that whenever you find this video, it will be for you as energy is fluid and time is an illusion. If at any time you do resonate with this reading, Aquarius, please go ahead and press the like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. If you're interested in a personal reading, um, there are links in the description box below. We're going to go ahead and jump in with shuffling and I will begin with my blessing and prayer. Mother, Father, God, divine, Holy Spirit of the Most High. Thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Aquarius in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding as well as a higher knowledge and perception into what karmic cycles soul lessons and generational curses they may currently be going through about to go through need to become aware of learn from heal from and release Lord, in all that you are and all that you do and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Yeshua's name I pray, amen. For Aquarius, please. You have new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. So you're needing to sit with your thoughts. You're needing to observe your thoughts and just kind of let them be. You're trying to center and find your peace. You've got a lot going on and you're just trying to make sure you have everything in order. You have adjustments are required. So that's why spirit wants you to just find yourself and find peace because there are some changes that have to take place in your life at this time and it's causing you confusion or anxiety or stress and spirit is saying just listen, just sit and listen, don't make any actions, we'll help you. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. So whatever ends up happening, spirit is saying that's why they want you to relax because you're, you're going to be fine. Whatever it is, you're going to be fine. You don't need to worry about it. You don't need to be anxious. You don't need to hold on to it with fear because you're always going to be fine. So just go one day at a time is what I'm hearing. You have new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Prosperity is a state of being. It's a state of mind. And when we bring the light of God and the truth of God into our life, we begin to experience that state of prosperity. We begin to understand that we don't have to worry about anything because he truly does have us and guide us. We begin to live a moving prayer, okay? And once we begin living a moving prayer, everything shifts in our life. Holy Spirit, messages for Aquarius, please. You have the Page of Pentacles as the current energy. You feel like you're just like barely hanging on to something like you're trying to figure something out or you feel like you may have stepped into a situation much bigger than you can handle all right in the recent past you have the five of wands yeah this is why you need to just meditate because there seems to be a lot of conflict or confusion around you maybe you were butting heads with people you're having a difficult time um, getting things figured out okay your current energy is the four of cups meditate and contemplate that's what you're doing that's what you're doing. You're not quite sure about this new opportunity, okay? 
Outside energy is the Eight of Cups, so you may be needing to move and or travel somewhere or walk away from something. Your challenge is the Magician. It's actually taking the energy and creating what you want. It's manifesting what you want. You have Justice as the next steps of action and the Seven of Wands as the outcome. On the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Cups. This is about controlling and stabilizing yourself and your emotions. Yes, Ten of Cups. Your heart's desire is on its way to you. You find happiness with a particular connection or person that you're longing to be with. I also feel like this is spirit telling you to meditate so that you can rediscover what it is that truly brings you joy and harmony and fulfillment. Okay, you have the hermit as well. So again, meditation, taking time to yourself and sitting there in silence to hear God. If you have constant noise around you, you can't really hear what he's trying to tell you. There's a healing that's trying to take place in your heart chakra. See how you have the crown above? He's trying to communicate with you, the divine. But you have to communicate back. Queen of Wands. You have to take action and allow this, this space and to observe the light in your life. But instead, you have this thought process in your mind that you're stuck, that you're trapped. She's not trapped, but when she looks within, she thinks she is, but she's not. It's all an illusion. She can be free once she decides to look at all of the light that is around her. Holy Spirit, please clarify the Page of Pentacles. So there's an offer on hand that I think you struggle with this offer because you're worried if you can handle it or this opportunity. Oops, that's too many. Clarify this page of pentacles, please. The queen of pentacles. Hmm. Wow, the two of swords. And the hierophant. What in the world? What's interesting is, I, don't, I almost feel like this is a child and a mother. A mother and their child, and there seems to be some type of separation here with the Two of Swords. Or it could be a marriage where somebody was younger. But this Queen of Pentacles is nurturing. She knows how to bring life from nothing, but there's a block. This two of swords can't see clearly. It's only, you know, unable to see the goodness, unable to see the transformation that's taking place because you have the phoenix, the hierophant. The divine is guiding you somewhere, but you can't see it. There's so much confusion and overwhelming energy that is surrounding you in regards to a commitment, um, a higher level commitment, the truth of a situation something that you're learning, some type of education or knowledge that you've been blocked from. Your eyes are opening. You're, you're gro oh, that's why you have to meditate. There's new wisdom and knowledge that's going to be bestowed upon you, Aquarius. You seem to be going through some sort of awakening. You need to heal mother wounds. In the past, you have the five of wands. There's been a lot of challenges and feeling like a lot of people were against you and and actually not helping you at all. Clarify the five of wands. It's like every time you try to take a step forward, you feel like you take, you know, ten backwards. Yeah, the world card. There, there could have been really difficult endings. Really difficult um, experiences with people that you cared about. It was like, what's, why is this happening to me? The fighter. Yes. There was so much difficulty here arguing, bickering, not being able to see eye to eye. Why Why are all these difficulties coming my way? That's what I'm seeing. Because spirit is trying to get you to, spirit is trying to get you to see something different. Spirit is, that's what, what that, there's a growth that's taking place here. 
and you're blinding yourself because you're not taking a pause to listen to God's you are now with this four of cups but this is you're wondering why all of these things are happening because you need to bring God into the situation and then there's a growth that takes place okay let's see here clarify please yeah, the four of swords. You have to take a break to clear all this, all of this chatter in your mind. There's a rest, a meditation with the four of swords. Something may have ended. A friendship, a relation, something ended or you're separated from somebody. But spirit is saying, yeah, I did that. I did this separation because truth and clarity and healing needed to be brought in. I'm at, God is saying, I wanted to be alone with you. Clarify the Four of Cups, please, for Aquarius energy. And so now you're in this phase where all you can think about is what went wrong in the past, but you can't see all the wonderful right things that are in front of you. You can't see the rainbow, the pot of gold. You're ignoring it here. Tell me why. Why is the Four of Cups Aquarius energy, please? The Three of Swords, because your heart is broken. Because your heart is broken. Spirit says, please don't pay attention to the pain. Please don't pay attention to the pain. Please walk through the fire. Please don't pay attention to the pain and what happened, but find the lesson so that you can find God's magic in it. The lesson is, is, is right past the pain. Then you have the wanderer. So there may have been somebody here who was just in and out. You wanted, you feel betrayed. This person, the wanderer is someone who's not stable at all. Clarify please, four of cups, three of swords, of wanderer. Yeah, there's that um, queen of swords. There you are. Yeah. I'm going to say something that might not resonate for everybody, but this is what spirit is showing me as you were exhausted, whatever this was, you were exhausted. And as much as it breaks your heart that something has come to an end, I feel like you also were relieved because you needed a break. You needed some type of pause. And now you're trying to regain your focus and, and say, where do I want to go? What do I want to do? All right, you have the Eight of Cups as the outside energy. Travel distance, walking away from something that was drowning you, but, you know, not filling your cups. It was drowning you, but not filling your cups. It was very dark. It was very difficult. To clarify, please, the Eight of Cups. You may be coming out of the dark night of the soul as well. Eight of Cups, please, for Aquarius. The Seven of Swords. Yeah, wow, you were betrayed. Somebody lied to you. Four of Cups. There you go. They just left you kind of like with the Mender. King of Pentacles. The Mender is the Queen of Cups. You're walking away from something. There was way too much lying. There could be criminal activity here. Theft. Somebody stole something. Could just be they stole your heart. But the five of cups, it's like, I have to heal myself. I have to heal myself. I have to look within myself. I have to invest in myself. And there's still a deep sadness about this ending. About this walking away. But it's about bringing peace like i said you needed this peace this was about bringing peace into your life because you couldn't get peace without it the challenge was the magician taking action manifesting and creating the life that you want you couldn't you couldn't connect clarify please the magician you couldn't take control yep over this love connection it could it wasn't growing why? Because somebody was too manipulative in this love connection. Gemini energy here. Somebody was way too manipulative. They wanted 
they could have also been spiritually manipulative or like spiritual narcissist and trying to control your energy if you're unaware of certain things like that's what i'm seeing here with the magician and soulmates clarify please Five of Magician and Swords. Five of Swords. Yeah, this was not. There's a lot of hurtful, hurtful words that were said over and over. Spiritual damage, spiritual poverty in this person. Um, lying, manipulation, fighting over. Could even fought over children or over family. Um, yep, Ace of Wands came out in reverse. This person could not take accountability for their actions. They were unapologetic for the way they behaved sometimes. Healing properly, reconciling the situation has just proved to be very difficult. All right, your next steps of action and your outcome. You have justice and the seven of wands. So there's legal issues here for some of you, but there's there's you setting the scales right and, and putting yourself first. I feel like there may be a lot of people that do not agree with what you're trying to do or the way that you're going, but you know that your peace and your balance is more important to you than what anyone else thinks. You're in your own bubble. You're doing what's best and healthiest for you. Some of you could be getting a divorce. Clarify justice, please, with the seven of wands. Clarify justice with the seven of wands. Yep, the Ten of Pentacles, but see, you're single with the Seven of Wands. Um, you could close out something with a family, a marriage. This is about you needing to restore yourself before you can restore others. Clarify, please, for Aquarius. Ten of Wands, yep. That commitment, that stability, you need, before you can pick back up and go around, you have to invest in yourself and build your own foundation because you're trying to take your burdens and you're taking your pain and you're transforming it into power. Yes, the nine of wands. This is not easy. A lot is taking place, a lot of explosions, a lot of um, difficulties, but you're in the process of trying to get something to move that hasn't been able to move in a long time. You've been stuck in some type of cycle. That's why you have adjustments are required. And spirit is saying, listen, we're about to take you somewhere here, a win-win outcome and prosperity, but you may have to let go of some things, some baggage with this 10 of wands that you've been carrying with you. And it's scary and it's new, but it's worth it. All right, let's get some closing messages real quick, please. For Aquarius, can you clarify these closing cards? Holy Spirit for Aquarius. Yep. Ending something to bring in a new beginning. You may be choosing to be on your own, to start something from scratch, to build your foundation, to build your worth, and to become independent, and then restart a connection or your soulmate will come in, this, the one that's aligned with your new frequency. But there's something that you're closing out, some type of commitment, because you need this peace and this break and this pause. Aquarius, I'm sending you much love on this journey and I look forward to hearing from you.